So this is the new Microsoft Surface Pro X. And this is very different from previous versions of the Surface. And I'm gonna give you five of the things you need to know about this new version of the Surface Pro. And just in case you're wondering, this definitely is a great alternative to an Apple iPad Pro. And I'm about to tell you why, so stick around. So number one is the processor. This is running on the Microsoft SQ1, which is basically a modified version of Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 CX processor. And it's a seven nanometer chip. And that means it's tiny. And one of the great things about this approach to the processor inside here is that the form factor can be so thin, so light, and it doesn't need fans to cool it down. So basically Microsoft have taken that Qualcomm 8CX chipset, made a few modifications to it and tailored it specifically for the Windows Surface Pro X. So for those of you out there who are not that familiar with Qualcomm and who they are, basically you should know that they make the leading processors for the majority of flagship smartphones on the market today. And they're taking all of this expertise from the mobile game and bringing it to the PC game. And this is actually a groundbreaking step when it comes to PCs like the Microsoft Surface Pro X. So the Snapdragon 8 CX platform is actually the third gen of this type of processor from Qualcomm. And that is the third gen in 18 months. So that should give you an idea of how rapidly this technology is improving. And as a result of this, when it comes to the performance of the CPU, it's up 40% from the previous gen and 50% more energy efficient than the previous gen and 2x better GPU performance as well. And honestly, the timing for this couldn't be any better. There's so many people out there who want a tablet form factor, but with a keyboard as an option instead of buying a traditional PC. And I'm definitely one of those people. I do have my MacBook Pro, which I use for editing videos. But when it comes to day-to-day -day stuff, this is really perfect when I'm on the go and I wanna do stuff whilst on the move without having to worry about battery life and all this kind of stuff. This is the current flagship model of the Surface Pro. And that should give you an idea of how confident Microsoft are in this new ARM64 platform going forward. Number two, connectivity. One of the main benefits of the Microsoft Surface Pro X is connectivity. And looking back at more traditional PCs, you would normally have a separate modem to handle Wi-Fi and data signals. And one of the advantages of the 8CX chipset inside the Surface Pro is the fact that it houses the Snapdragon X24 modem. And this is better for a few reasons. It allows the Surface X Pro form factor to remain ultra thin while still being able to provide multi gigabit download speeds via a SIM card or Wi-Fi. So this basically means you can be productive anywhere you are as long as you've got mobile data. And the fact that it's always connected means that you receive alerts just like a smartphone. Even when it's in standby, you will still get notifications and updates and your emails will update on the fly. So as soon as you open it up, those messages and alerts are already downloaded. In a traditional PC, that typically wouldn't happen. As well as that, you'll be getting higher throughput and lower latency than a traditional Cat9 modem that we see a lot on older PCs. Number three, graphics and entertainment. So I mentioned before, the GPU performance is up 2X from the previous one, but what does that mean to you? So basically the Microsoft Surface Pro X is capable of playing back 10-bit 4K HDR content and the GPU on board that system on chip, that tiny chip I was talking about at the beginning is capable of outputting to two 4K HDR monitors simultaneously via a wire. So that's pretty impressive when it comes to something like this. But I'll tell you what's really impressive about this is the fact that the Surface Pro X doesn't need a separate graphics card to do this. All of the graphics are handled by that SQ1 or 8CX chipset whatever you want to call it, inside the Surface Pro X. When it comes to gaming, the Microsoft Pro is more than capable of light gaming, and there are plenty of games to choose from on the Microsoft Store, and you can even run games from Steam as well. Another area of Qualcomm's expertise in smartphone technology that has made its way over to the Surface Pro X is their camera AI and image processing. The Pro X has a five megapixel selfie camera that supports 1080p Full HD video, which is especially useful for voice calls. And it's got dual mics that will certainly complement this for those important conference calls. And with the Snapdragon 8CX's AI capabilities, Microsoft's face recognition for unlocking the device works seamlessly. 
and on the back of the Pro X is a 10 megapixel camera that supports autofocus and 4K video. Number four, this is a Microsoft product and of course it runs full Windows 10 as well as full Windows Office. You can even upgrade it to Windows 10 Pro or Enterprise Edition if you want to. So this is capable of the majority of stuff that you would typically do on let's say a work PC. Stuff like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, all of these sort of productive apps that you're used to using will run perfectly here on the Windows Surface Pro X. Now, one thing to note is that with this SQ1 being an ARM64 processor, not all apps have been ported over to run natively just yet. For example, I like to use Adobe Photoshop a lot, and there is Adobe Photoshop Express on here, which runs perfectly. But in order to run the full Adobe Photoshop, I have to have an emulated version, which is emulated from a 32-bit version. But check this out. Windows have just released an SDK, which will allow developers to port their software over to this platform a lot easier now and the word on the street is that adobe are already working on porting over the adobe suite to this new platform so for me i'm quite excited about that number five battery and efficiency and this really is one of the strongest suits of the surface pro x and it's the fact that it has amazing power efficiency compared to what we're used to seeing on pc laptops and again, this is largely down to the Qualcomm processor inside. The fact that everything is in that one place, which means there's no need for fans, which means there's no power used on fans. There's less heat created within that chipset, which means there's no performance throttling like you would see on a bigger chipset. And here's an image actually side by side with a competitor using a more traditional chipset, which actually has two fans. So that should give you an idea. That's two fans against zero fans in the Surface Pro X. So like the name would suggest with an always on, always connected PC, it's even in standby. As soon as I open this up and it sees my face, it's instantly on just like a smartphone. That is such a good feature when it comes to battery and the fact that even when it's in standby, it's using minimal power. And this particular model can last up to 13 hours, but other computers running on the same chipset could last up to 24 hours, which is insane, but it's really down to the manufacturer and what size battery they want to use. So the Windows Surface Pro X is really for anybody who wants an all-rounder, something that's good at everything, productivity stuff like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, really quick when it comes to the internet and browsing and social media. Fantastic for video playback and light gaming. But if you're looking for something for heavy gaming or heavy video editing, you're looking for more like a power lifter type computer. And the problem with power lifter computers, let's say gaming specific laptops, is they're fantastic, but their juice runs out really quickly. So the best way to think of this laptop is more like a triathlete. It's good at loads of different stuff and it can keep going for a long time without running out of juice. So that's the five things you need to know about the Windows Surface Pro X with the new processor technology inside. If you guys learned anything new today, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you just subscribed, you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man. And if you want to learn a bit more about this new platform, there's another thumbnail on screen. Go check that out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't be late. I feel as if I'm awakened in some future age. Such an 